Hey everyone, Swapbox here. Okay, now that we got that, you know, business sorted out for MSI, let's see if we can't help Zora out some with that relay station thing. At least that plasma cutter makes sense. Oh, why, you know, why wouldn't there be a mantid queen? Drop from a mantid swarm. I do like stuff. Pretty sure I already went through everything here. Data cartridge. Well, I can tell you what I'm definitely going to upgrade. Hack. That and...
Well, it sounded like he passed pleasantly. In that he did not. So the ship talks? Do all ships do that? I can't say for certain, since I only ever been on this one. Ada's something special, though, ain't she? Ada, what is it? She? It? I, I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. Used to be I thought she was a simulated intelligence. You know, a long series of commands telling her how to react to certain inputs. You used to. What do you think now? Well, I worked with a lot of machines, and ain't none of them like her. They can be pretty smart, but mostly they're rule books with a voice box. Ada's different. One of life's mysteries, I suppose. I don't trust it. If it crashes us into a star, I'll be a mite upset. You'll also be, like, instantly dead. There's worse ways to go. Welcome back. You find anything out there? Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. Yeah, he did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Go take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. In the, it's a hundred percent fucked up. I wonder if I can confront him. Greetings, friend. <laughs> I'm just gonna quick save, and we're gonna see how this goes. Fine morning, isn't it? When I founded the Iconoclasts, I did so amidst the ghosts of this planet's past. Since then, many have asked me, why here? Were you involved in the massacre? Was that some gruesome plot to clear a path for my dreams? My response to you is the same as to all others. The death of MSI was an incidental tragedy. I'd have walked this path with or without it. I did no such thing. Their deaths came in the night while I slept in Stellar Bay. And regardless, we're discussing a past long since left behind. Those ghosts still haunt me. But they needn't curse my people. When the entire colony has embraced our truth, perhaps then the perpetrator will come into the light. Until then, it does us no good to dwell on past mistakes. If I were the type of man to make that decision, and I assure you I am not, I'd have to be so obsessed with dismantling their regime that I'd turn to desperate measures. I have since learned that their mistakes will end them in time and that we will persevere where they do not. But back then, suffocating under that oppressive culture, I can understand a lesser man than myself making a terrible, ghastly mistake.
If MSI had abandoned this place and taken to Terra 2, any hope for our salvation would have been lost. Here, without the shackles of the Halcyon board, we are free to grow as the universe intended. Had we fled with MSI, our spirits would have withered. You've seen that withering yourself. The colony is dying. The massacre of Amber Heights, unfortunate as it was, presented the slim possibility of saving the souls of Terra too. Here we are, poised to do just that. Free will is a double-edged sword, Captain. The universe judges us all. Whether your choices are helpful or harmful to the cosmos is not up to you. Those executives were found to be poisonous to the spirit of humanity. They were doomed, whether by the hands of man or beast, their time was coming to an end. And here I am, a paragon of the eternal truth, leading a society of like-minded people. The universe has found me worthy, despite whatever sins you believe I've committed. Let us speak no more of this, Captain. We have a message to spread and a colony to save. Yeah. You know, initially he sounded remorseful, and now he didn't. Well, we'll see how this plays out. I don't foresee it any well. Wonder if it's been long enough. Go take a walk, Captain. Nope. Yep. <laughs> 